Hey, this is Jason of Dragon Dogs. I'm out here with Lily, and we're going to go over some butterfly throws. Uh, the butterfly is when the disc is spinning sideways on purpose, not because it's a bad throw. One of Lily's best moves, or at least my favorite move that she does uh, or trick, is the butterfly backflip. Okay. Ready? Good girl. The butterfly was one of the very first things we ever did with Lily. And uh, this is a butterfly. And the disc is moving at the dog, rotating, right? The main thing you want to know about uh, the butterfly throw is that you want it to ro be rotating towards your dog's mouth. Come here, look. And you notice on that last one, she actually lined up like this, facing this way, and I threw it this way. So she was facing this way, and the disc was spinning this way, and she didn't catch it. It's going to be very hard for her to catch. Watch. Wait. So I'm going to throw the disc crossways for her like this. It's going to be very challenging for her to catch, right? Uh, you're going to improve your dog's percentage of catching a butterfly if you have it spinning towards the dog. So let's go through uh, various grips and, and butterfly throws. The first throw I ever learned is uh, a snapping it right at my dog. So I put my, my thumb on the bottom and uh, just a forefinger on the top across the side. And I'm just going to snap it. So I'm going to snap it away from me right at my dog. You ready, Lou? Good. Dog. If this is the first time you're, uh, you're doing a butterfly with your dog, uh, you might not want to indoctrinate them to the butterfly throw with a, a hard thrown disc at their face. Um, so I'm going to show you that I'm going to snap down, but I'm going to pull back. A little bit of a pull back, pull up and back with the wrist and a little bit with the elbow. You ready, look? So you can see where the motion was like this. The disc hung a little bit more and she went and, and attacked it. If I snap it right at Lily, it's almost like it's coming at her, right? Ah, right? Where if I just kind of, if I do the pullback, then she's got a chance to see it and go after it. That's right at my dog. Come here, Lil. And now a pullback. You ready? See, um, it's almost a little more spin on that pullback, too. It adds a little more velocity. You want the disc spinning right like this. If it's and on an off trajectory, the odds of catching it are going to go way down. So uh, another easy, easy uh, butterfly uh, release is using two discs, and you just smack one disc with the other. Good. So I'm just going to pop that one. Good. Now I want to show you. These are pretty much got from Ron. Three fingers on top. These two fingers on the bottom. And this one I use mostly for for my vaults. So the side vault, the uh, inverted, the back vault, right? And what this allows me is, because of the release, I'm always flipping back towards me. It means that the disc is always rotating back towards the dog. Okay, like that. Um, some people like to throw, you know, throw this with two fingers on the top too. And, and then all three, the rest of the fingers on the bottom. This one I find is a little less accurate. It'll go off target. Um, so now when you use that grip, you can incorporate two discs, right? So sometimes I find myself doing this, but it's really a bad habit. Two fingers on top, two in the middle, one on the bottom, thumb on the bottom. Instead, I want to switch this to the pinky and the forefinger on the top. These two fingers in the middle and the thumb on the bottom, right? And now, what I can do is, is I can butterfly the top disc, butterfly the top disc, and I still have the bottom disc to throw or, or do something else with. So that's going to look like this. I'm going to butterfly that disc, and then I've got this disc is on my hand. I can throw it this way, throw it that way. I can turn it over and backhand it. I can scuba it and hammer it. 
I still have the second disc. So it looks cool to do the butterfly vault and then the second disc. Let me just go over those grips again with you. Thumb on top, sorry, thumb on top, forefinger on bottom, snap it. Remember, you want to pull back, pull your wrist and elbow back so that you soften the throw at the dog. Um, using two discs to spin it. And then you've got the. Okay, you want that one? Then you've got the three fingers on top or two fingers on top. Okay? Normally, if I'm throwing a butterfly at her, it's spinning at her, right? But if I'm going to do a backflip, then that means she's going to jump up and back. So the disc needs to be spinning towards her mouth, which is now going to be facing this way. Set up right here. So instead of snapping it this way towards her, I'm actually going to have it coming back towards me. Now I'll throw this a bunch of different ways. Sometimes I throw it with the the fingers grip and uh, I've even thrown it with just my with my fingers inside the lip and just flipped it like this so you'll practice a bunch of different ways and you'll find the way that you feel most comfortable with and you can be most accurate with which is really important really like I could throw a, a backwards butterfly like this good girl though she can catch it because she's going forward towards the rotation so grab some discs, go practice your butterfly tosses, okay? And with the dog's mouth, the rotation is 